I think we figured out the, the hammock where we've been able to get both of us in the hammock and uh, not upset the apple cart. We can lay here on the beach and so it enjoy is a our view. Hammock after all. Yeah, two person hammock. Yep. Enjoyable. Okay. Nice breeze. Bye. Bye. Alright, I just want to take a second while we got things torn apart and show you the wood. Um, this is not the particle board that stuff is built out of back in the States. These are solid wood. And the, the wood that goes on the walls, this paneling looking thing over here, this is a piece of that wood. It's, it's basically tongue and groove flooring. This is solid wood. That they build things out of so it, it's got good it's good and bad it's got pluses and minuses number one it's sturdy it's harder than all get out uh, it comes from local trees so it it drinks brackish water which makes it really hard it's an incredibly hard wood it's hard to cut with a chainsaw let alone anything else saws all just really struggles going through it um, and when you once you put a screw in it's in for life. Uh, they'll break the heads off before they'll back out. So we've had a lot of trouble getting screws out and uh, we've had to cut some of them off that just didn't come out um, when we were trying to get them out. You can see we had to cut the, cut the heads off the screws here. Um, anyways, I just wanted to show you that, that the wood here is incredibly hard. And it's uh, termite resistant. This is why they build everything out of these out of this wood. There have been people who have told us that um, their picture frames that they hang on the wall, they've gone up and touched them and they've just crumbled because the termites have eaten the the wood, the picture frame that we bring like from the MDF states. And stuff. Yeah, like the MDF and and uh, the picture frames that aren't made locally will get eaten by termites and they'll just disintegrate. But anyways, this is just a, a quick one about the. The wood here. So when you're wrapping your spices, make sure that you put them in a good container that doesn't break open mid-transit. Everything was covered in powdered sugar. It's a sweet package. Hello there. So I want to show you a new way of life for me, which I never thought I'd ever do. And honestly, this is the first time other than hanging in the laundry room a sweater or something. This is how I do laundry now crazy right but it's actually relaxing and enjoyable so I this is one load and then I've got the whites in there I'll wait but it takes a little bit longer to dry clothes here like sometimes if you just put it out I feel at home it's like dry instantly this takes me a little more time but I've eliminated having to iron now which is kind of nice nothing really needs to be ironed these will come out like nice and fine and then I'll take like the jeans which Joe has one pair of jeans now he doesn't need 50 one pair I'll throw them in the dryer at the end because they'll never dry and just get them a little bit softer but typically all the wrinkles just come right up and we're done so new way of life saving money island power so this is uh, one of the neighbors power box. this isn't our power box this is one of the neighbors power box but they're all pretty much the same this is what they look like inside. So you just patch in, call it good. No meter, no, no nothing like that. So the way they do their meter is you buy kilowatts of power and then you program them in and then you use them. And then when it runs out, your power goes out.